and you are in this camp, different. We have a greater anointing and change most of all. So even though you might not be fully prepared, some of your teams, some of the groups, I give your best effort. Some people, someone say, fake it until you become real. Okay, so drama is faking it until you become real. That is what drama is all about. Act it out. Amen? So where is group number one? Group number one. Who's the group leader? Let's welcome them. Okay. What is group number one? Abraham. Seven first. <laughs> group one say they are not ready, so we say group seven first. Group two. Group two uh. Okay. Group seven. Group two is group two ready? Okay. Group two. Thank <laughs> you. 
If your team goes first, you get extra points. We're judging you. Judging you by points. Jesus walking in the water and Spider-Man cup. It's very inaccurate. Okay. <laughs> Next, props. Use of props. Using different things to uh, enhance your story. And the last one is, is it fun or funny? Is it fun? Is it enjoyable? Like, uh, so a total of uh, 40 points. The maximum points you can get going for best of 40. Okay? So, the team that goes first is getting an extra five points. So who is ready to go first? Which team? Uh, the sleeper, they're going to go. Alright! Hold us five points for this team. You need microphone? <laughs> Okay, now. Okay, so everyone, look here, look at me, look at me, hello? If I see the back of your head, you're not looking at me. Okay. Now, when the other team is performing, this is not your revision time, okay? <laughs> so please watch your friend. That means if you're turned around, you need to turn it this way. Hello? Turn around, see your friends. See your friends, turn around, pay attention. It's not revision time now, okay. Oi, tell your friend. Okay, if you don't turn around, I'm gonna let Jason do this on you. She's made to it, man. Everyone just turn your friend. Hello, okay, we're waiting all on you, sister. Hello? <laughs> she really blur one, don't hear anything.
Okay, action! God appeared to Isaiah in his glory through a vision. And then he saw God seated on a high throne, lifted up and surrounded by the highest angels, the seraphim. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. It is commonly thought he, the vision served as his commission to be a prophet of God and thus marks the beginning of his ministry. The Lord said, Whom shall? to continue preaching about the Lord's judgment despite the fact that the people would harden their hearts and not change their ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, which group has not gone yet? This time we give you negative two points. Yeah, yeah. 
Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Alright, who is next group? That was group number... Welcome, Ibu Silaka. Joshua became a great leader. Moses was growing old and needed someone to lead God's people. He gathered his most trusted servants and wanted to pick one of them. All were excellent, but he chose his most trusted and favored servant. Joshua. <laughs> He placed his hand on top of Joshua and blessed him. But unfortunately, Moses died not long after, and so Joshua became the new leader. One day, while Joshua was tired from his work, a voice from heaven spoke to him. Joshua led God's people past the Jordan River and finally reached the promised land. However, the wall of Jericho protected it. But the Lord told Joshua, Walk around the wall for seven days for seven times. Then during the seventh time, the high priest will blow his trumpet and everybody must shout. Then the wall shall fall and you must charge in. Joshua obeyed him and lead God's people to walk around the wall. Finally, on the seventh day and the seventh round, the high priest blew his trumpet and everyone shouted. And the whole wall came crashing down. Joshua Give 
visions. He is God's visions to Israel. The ghost of the Israelites was really very stubborn. So when he was preaching the, when he was giving the God's words, they didn't listen to him. And the king was really angry and he started to put him into a prison.
then one warm, scary night, many years later, Abram was resting in his tent after a hard day's work, although he's very old to still work. People lived in the tents back in those days because they had to move from place to place, find food for their many sheep and cattle. And it, it was a night like any other night until God appeared. This must have been a bit of a surprise. And maybe more than a little bit scary. But God said to Abram, Do not be afraid! I am your defender. I promise that I will give you a great reward. But Abram said, What kind of reward, man? I don't even have any children. Look at me. I'm a failure, man. Then God told Abram, Out beneath the scary skies, Look up at the stars in the sky. God said, you will have a son, he will have children, and his children will have children, and they will have more children. <laughs> and one day, there will be as many as the stars in the sky. And I'm saying, how can this be? I'm old. But God had made a promise to Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would have children. And from him, a great nation will come. God promised that they would have lived in the land that God had given to them. And God promised that because of Abram, all the people on earth will be blessed, all of us. And God always keeps his promise. Abram believed God's promise, and Abram's faith pleased God. It was Abram's faith in God and his promise that made things right between Abram and God. This is an important thing to remember. Amen. Okay, uh, can we have some lounge music as the um, judges tabulate the results? Some dramatic music when we announce the results as well.